All right, let's look at 6d cubed minus 28d squared minus 10d equals 0. We already have that 0 on the right side of the equation, so we don't need to add or subtract on both sides. We're looking for something that will factor here. The thing that's strange is this power is a 3, and we're so used to a power of 2. But fortunately, there's actually a d in this term, and this term, and that term. So what we could do, let's copy the equals 0 first. We can, out of all three terms, factor out a d. and some people will take different approaches to this, but there's actually more that you can factor out than just a d. You can also factor out a number. You can factor out the number 2 from all of these, and what will be left will be 3d squared minus 14d minus, uh, let's see, 5. Um, and now, can we factor what's in parentheses further? So that is, let's copy that, let's copy this. Could we take what's written here and write this as the product of two binomials. 3d squared, fortunately, um, that number 3, it's, th you know, the only way to really m multiply to get the 3 is a 3 and a 1. So 3d there, d there, and then 5, maybe it's a 5 here and a 1 there, or you have to switch those, who knows. We've got, you've got to test a couple possibilities with that minus. Um, one of the signs is a plus, one is a minus, or the signs could flip. Uh, but take a look at this 14. I want you to note that uh, 14 is so close to 15, and so, look, if we stick the 5 here, then 3d times 5 will be 15d. That's close to 14d. And then 1 there, well, 1 times d, yeah, you know, 15d minus 14, uh, sorry, 15d minus 1d would be a 14d. Oh, sorry, excuse me, with the minus. Oh, I see. So. This has to end up being negative when we've collected like terms. So let's stick the minus there and the plus there. I think that'll work, but we should just check check the expansion. So 3d times d is d, 3d squared. 3d times negative 5, that's a negative 15d. Add that to a positive 1d. So negative 15d plus 1d is a negative 14d. Great. And then a plus 1 times a negative 5 is negative 5. Now that the factorization worked, we can take each of the factors, so that's this part, this part, and that part. Those are the factors. When you have an equation, so there's that equals for equation, you have a zero, we can set each factor equal to zero. So that factor is zero, the 3d plus 1 factor is zero, and the d minus 5 factor is zero. So for the first equation, because there's a times 2 to undo the times, we need to divide both sides by 2 and have 0 divided by 2, which simplifies to 0. For the last equation, um, let's not think to, to divide by negative 5. This is actually a d minus 5. So to undo a minus 5, add 5 to both sides. I did that just to compare these two equations to each other. Now we'll t attack the more complicated equation. Um, first, subtract 1 on both sides, and you'll have 3 times d is negative 1, and then divide both sides by 3, and you'll have d is negative 1 third. So there are three values of d here.